everything. All right, guys, we are back in Code Academy. If I'm a little bit on the softer side, it is because it is about uh, 1 a.m., but I can't sleep, so we're going to do some JavaScript. And I'm uh, at my mom's house before I moved to Florida, so I don't want to wake her up because we, sh we share a wall and whatnot right now. Um, so, yeah, you know, let's go ahead and jump into Introduction to JavaScript. This isn't to be confused with the... Uh, with Codecademy's JavaScript course. This is the old course. This is a introduction, which I guess is gonna be an easier version teaching the basics of JavaScript. JavaScript's been such an important language that it seems that this needs to be something that every web developer needs to master. And if you're kind of get, having issues getting started, I guess maybe this is what this course is for you. I've, I've just, I haven't even taken a look at it, so. Um, let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, Code Academy, if you notice, has kind of reworked their their website quite a bit. Uh, so let's see if the uh, IDE looks any different. It looks pretty much the same. It looks like the flow is going back. Back. Um, we're gonna learn the building blocks of JavaScript, and we're gonna do some fun stuff with that. Cool. Where's my water? All right. In the code editor, there are three variables. We'll learn about variables. So if you're not familiar with what a variable is, um, a variable is something that you store data in. They can be strings, which are uh, lines of text. They can be numbers, They can, which are numbers. Whole numbers or floating numbers, which would be decimal numbers. Um, So uh, we want to replace this first my string with uh, your name. So we'll go ahead and put coding tutorials 360. And this is now a string because we're using quotation marks. So you'll see right here when we output it, it is now a string. So we ran that. We're next going to set the next one to our lucky number. Um, I guess then it would be appropriate to set our lucky number to 360, like so. Um, this is in the beta, so this may be running a little bit slow, so bear with me, guys. There we go. And then, um, because it's running a little slow, we're going to go ahead and move on here. And then, a uh, boolean. So, a boolean is a true or false. The easy way to think of booleans, if you're new to the concept, is a uh, heads or tails. It's a flip of a coin in the sense of it's either one or the other. It can't be anything else. So, um, we're going to go ahead and just put true. Let's go ahead and run that. And so we have a string variable, we have a number variable, and then we have our boolean, which is true or false. Like a true or false question on a test, there's only those two options, and that would be our booleans. I'm gonna click next. So console.log, what does this mean? Console.log is really how you get a message display in the uh, web browser console or in your code so that you can see something. Um, it's really a way of getting output to the console now, why would you use this? Sometimes you need to check the values of variables as you're doing your code so that you can fully understand what the variable is and making sure that your code is running properly. So, a favorite pizza topping is cheese. Um, and some of you may be saying, hey, that is not a pizza topping, but extra cheese is always a pizza <laughs> topping. All right. Uh, so, we can also... Um, console.log multiple things so we want to check multiple values we can do that as well in the example here they're just having us go ahead and put multiple things we'll go ahead and throw ham on here partially because I, I think I'll be embarrassed if I misspell pepperoni <laughs> so that's what's going on here <coughs> now um, you can do math if, uh, in in programming or in, in general but um, in JavaScript as well so we can we can actually log out uh, math operators. Now you may say, why would we want to add 3.5 plus to our age? Um, but if you're checking two variables and you want to make sure they add up correctly, you can do it through the console. So we'll go ahead. I am 28. So in three and a half years, I will be 31.5. God, that makes me feel old. 
Um, so inside another console.log. So you can have multiple console.logs as well. Let's go ahead and take the current year, which is 2016, and then we'll go ahead and minus 1969, which probably has some sort of relevance. And then uh, in the third step, it divides 65 by 240. So you can also do other operators as well. So you can do multiplication, division, basically any math operator will work. And then we'll, this will be uh, 240 divided by 65. So we get this very long number here. And then in the last, we want to multiply the answer from step 3 by 100. So, uh, as we said, we can chain operators as well. So how do we want to do that? We can go ahead and console.log. Or let's go ahead and create a variable and store it in something. We'll create a, var a variable called num1 and we'll set this equal to 240, excuse me, 60, I did this incorrectly, excuse me. This is 65 divided by 240. And then we'll set that 65 divided 240 equal to a number and then we'll console.log that variable out. So if you remember correctly, the variables store data and we're simply targeting that data. So let's go ahead and run this. Oh, and then multiply it by 100. So, excuse me, forgot that step. So you see everything's going out, it's 100 times larger. Very nice, very nice, very nice. All right, so modulo. What is modulo or modulus? Um, sometimes you just wanna get a remainder of a number. It's um, so 13 modulo five would have, your answer would be three because five only divides evenly twice and you have a three remainder. That's basically modulo. So let's go ahead and look at what they're asking us. Let's say, let's say a full night. Uh, remember to put your calculations so I can print them on the screen. All right. Uh, so it says, let's start by dividing 365 by 27. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Console.log. And this is going to be 365 divided by 27. Our first console. Let's go ahead and log that. So there's our 13. Remember, that gives us 13 followed by decimal 0.518. Use modulus to find the remaining days. Then... We need to know how many extra days the moon will rotate before the end of the year. What does it want us to do? Sorry. All right. Uh, so 365. Oh, 13. What are they asking us? Do the same calculus step one, but sign for this. Oh. They want to see how many days we have left over. I see. And that is our remainder of days. So it's basically, this is what we have left when we just divide this. I was understand what they were asking. Sorry about the confusion there. But modulo, uh, let's go ahead and dive into this a little bit more. So if we were to do 15 modulo 13, we would have a remainder of two. Now, if we were to do 30 modulo 13, we would have a remainder of four. So I, ho I hope that clears that up a little bit. Cool. Well, they got a lot of stuff going on in here. All right, let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. As we write draft in the blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about comments. So oftentimes in your comment, in your code, a good programmer will put comments in there so they can look back and read their code and other colleagues of yours can look at the code and catch up as well. So, um, online run. So, a single line comment is denoted by two slashes and we can go ahead and put opening line. Go ahead and run that. Single line comments, multi line comments. So, comment outlines four to nine with a multi line comment. So, if we want to comment out a bunch of stuff, 
we can go ahead and put a slash star and then star slash to contain everything we want between those two stars. And when we run that, we'll only get our first line right here. Um, this is a, a good practice to get into. I try to, about every 10 to 15 lines of code, go back and write a comment for each line of code that's relevant. So I definitely encourage you to get into that practice early as this is an introductory course. And if you're, you're kind of working your way through it right now, you may, um, you know, a little tip and trick to, to start the right way. So that was our first introductory course to JavaScript. I hope you guys found it helpful. Um, what we learned in here is variables, how to store data using variables, how to use the console to log out data, how to, how to get comments. We also learned about the math operators and um, a few of the math operators. We'll, we'll be, uh, there's a whole math library that I imagine the advanced JavaScript course will get into. But uh, I hope you guys found this helpful. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video if you know anyone like it. And support me on Patreon because it keeps these videos going. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Definitely check them out at devmountain.com. If you're looking for a boot camp that's in front-end development, iOS, or UX, go ahead and give them a shot. Tuition includes housing so you can get up and go and fully immerse yourself in the program. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.